Hello, friends. Coach Bob with you. And today we uh, have a super cool thing in store for you. Um, I was recently talking to Keith from Sling Mods, and he asked me, Coach, would you be interested in playing around with a little piece of equipment we have? It's called the Pedal Commander. Aha. To which I quickly responded, well, heck yeah, I've heard a lot about it. So I would I would very, be very, very interested in trying it, seeing what I thought about it. So look what came in today. Oh, 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 oh yeah, a little pedal commander action. So let's take this thing inside. You can see it's a beautiful day. I mean, it is, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. Uh, the sun is out. It's nice and warm. I'd say it's probably 70 degrees. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's been super cold. And now all of a sudden we get a beautiful warm day. It's late in the afternoon. The sun's starting to set. I don't know if we can get this thing installed this afternoon, but let's unbox it, see what all they sent us, see what comes with it, and see how hard this little install is gonna be. I don't think it's too complicated. I think it's plug and play. Then we'll see what this thing actually does. So, Pedal Commander from Sling Mods. Thank you, Keith, for sending it to us. Brother, we are going to do a little unpacking, and let's have a good time. Hey, Opal, hey, baby. All right. Always have to do, ooh! Very nice. Sling mod shirt. Pedal commander, ooh. And sling mod sticker, very nice. So if we look in the little pedal commander box here, it's, it's, it's actually put in here very nicely. Um, this is the one it shows you right here is the pedal commander. Pedal commander plug and play throttle response controller for the Can-Am Spider F3 all years and RT 2014 and up for 1330 CC engines. That would be us, 2019 Can-Am Spider. Now, from what I understand is that so this doesn't change your fueling. It just simply uh, interrupts your communication with your throttle and makes your th throttle control a shorter throw. In other words, uh, on racing motorcycles, if you were to ride a racing motorcycle, which they're cable driven, on a standard motorcycle, you, you may have to have your hand and roll your wrist all the way around to get full throttle. On a racing motorcycle, they change that throw. It is just very simple. It's very, very close. From what I understand, that's what this does. As we get deeper into it, and I read these beautiful directions and everything, it really doesn't look very complicated. This looks actually very cool. So whoever did the packaging design, that looks really cool. That looks almost like the uh, US Army logo. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyway, pop it right out of the top, slide it right through. We are unboxed, look at that. It looks as I would have imagined it would. Um, so this plugs into one side and plugs out the other side. This mounts via Velcro onto the spider. And one thing that is kind of a downside to this is that it is not waterproof. Eco mode, city mode, sport mode, sport plus mode, and levels of each of those modes, plus or minus, very, very simple. So this mounts onto the spider itself with Velcro, and then you just simply pop that in there. So very, very simple thing to put on and off the spider. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna walk outside, and it's like I said, it's a little late in the day, but if we can get this thing hooked up, take it for a little ride, that might be fun. If not, I guess we'll do it in the morning. First thing we gotta do, gotta pull this little panel off, just like uh, all the other kind of little things we have to do. We always have to, there it goes. All right, pretty simple, panel removal. See right here, this is your throttle controller right there. All that happens is that piece plugs in between those two. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to unplug this throttle piece. There's a little black tab. I'm gonna to point to it with the knife right there. When you press that down, that lifts a tab in here. It will release it so you can pull the pull it out there. You can see I just, it was not difficult at all. You just press that little black tab right there, and that's it. Unhooks that simply.
Now the throttle commander itself plugs in. So, and you can see it simply looks like the other, the other piece, right? So this will plug into this end. And that clips in. And then this looks exactly like the piece that just came out. And that will plug right in there. All right, feels nice and solid. That's all of the real technical electrical part. Everything else is just put it, is mounting this. And it's gonna be mounted up here. And we're gonna to have to remove a speaker grill in order to do that. So let's uh, get something out, remove the speaker grill and run that cable. Okay, so this grill right here has to come off. You can get a little tool to do that, but it's really not difficult. You can just grab it with your hand and it just pops right out. There's nothing to it. So now, to take this, run this up through this compartment. Now I want you to know that I have done everything up to this point pretty much with one hand. So what I'm going to do to find this path of travel here, I'm just gonna shine a light up in here and see. All right, I see a big light right there. Because as you stick your hand in here, certainly if you have the big old hands like I got, um, it's hard to find. There's a hole. All right, so what I'm gonna tell you is, is there's, there is a path that goes through here it is not an obvious one. You kind of have to go in and then up. And then as you feed it through, it's just gonna, it's just gonna kind of track itself through there. I can feel it. I can't really get my fingers on it yet. You'll feel the pedal commander. Just kind of hold the commander stable with your index finger of your right hand while pushing the wire with your left and it will go right through. Just don't get in a hurry there again. Like I said, be patient with this kind of thing because it's really not hard it's, it's just one of those things that you, you just don't want to rush. Just take your time. All right, so I want to get it from here to here. Now, I can't speak for the 2017 and earlier. I know 18 and 19 had some changes. Certainly the 19s did. You can see there's a plastic shroud that goes all the way across. But if you can see, I can press that plastic down, which creates a gap. I will be able to get this through the gap and then feed that wire to an opening down here that should not bind or pinch the wire. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Again, I'm just pressing this down and pushing that through. That's all there is to it. So should not be hard at all. Now I know I'm gonna have someone go, coach, that is a terrible camera angle. And you're right. I'll tell my camera guy. Oh, wait a minute, I am the camera guy. Oh, so it is what it is. There it is. Again, I'm just pressing that plastic piece down feeding it right through. So all I did, press that down, fed this through. Now I've got a wire that's kind of pinched on this plastic piece. So I wanna pull that wire down to the bottom where the handlebar opening is, so that as I turn the handlebar back and forth, it doesn't cut that wire. So I'm just pressing that plastic down, pulling the wire through, and working it around to the front of the handlebar and making sure that I'm not binding anywhere. So here it is right here, and I've got it pulled through to the bottom. So you have all of this excess wire now because you know it's not like a separate compartment. It's all connected together. You just get it through here so you can get a handle on it and have a little purchase to move it through to the other side. But now you have all of this excess cable. So what are we gonna do with it? Very simple, we just stick our hand in here where it is. We feed it back through and then we'll zip tie it and that'll be that. What I'm doing, I'm checking to see and that wire is not gonna be cut and it's not. So at this point, this is where we are. Get our little uh, alcohol swabs, clean this up, mount this right here and the installation's complete. It's very, very simple. So all we have left to do is to mount this right up here and then mount this on it. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So the pedal commander is kind enough to uh, provide us with a little alcohol swab. And I'm going to clean the back of their bracket very well also. Now remember if you mess this up and mount it in the wrong place, it's just Velcro tape. You're not gonna have a problem moving it or putting or using a different piece, if you know what I mean. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna mount the sticker to the back of the pedal commander case. It takes me as long to get the tape off of the sticker 
than it did do the, do the entire ins installation process. Now it's just getting silly. Tell you what, my friend, that right there is some sticky tape. All right, to stick this onto the back of here. Okay, to get the tape off of this and then stick this to the spider. Wow. Ooh, that's some sticky tape, man. So we have all of our sticky tape exposed. Now I'm going to take this, I'm gonna set it in here like this so that I know exactly where I want it. So I wanna sit on the spider and be able to see it from where I am, which will be about right there. Full lock doesn't hit, full lock doesn't hit, doesn't cut, nice and solid. So now all we're gonna do is take this excess wire right here, hook it to this wire right there. These things were originally designed for vehicles, for cars, and uh, let's run it right there on top of that. I don't have it super duper 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 tight or nothing like that, um, just enough to hold it in place. By the way, thank you cabinet man for this flashlight. You have been a lifesaver, my friend. All hooked in there nice and neat. All right, we'll slap a little grease in here here and a little grease on these and a little grease here and a little grease there and like i said i try to keep these things kind of lubed up that makes it a little easier next time you go to take it apart it's not quite as a violent force so you've got your little lip that goes around there line up your three push pins there we go. Pop in the speaker grill. Again, one-handed, right? The only thing that required was a little patience routing the cable, but even then that was not a problem, okay? There we go, just like that. Good as new, better than new. Oh, let's take it for All right, so uh, I'm running out of daylight. As you can see, what I'm going to do, we are gonna do, run it in sport mode um, I'm looking to see now at the red that means you're in the negative numbers if I go plus you'll see it go into green that means it's up one so we're running with no light on sport mode that's the base sport mode all right we're just gonna run it in sport mode till I can figure out how to change modes this is just an initial thoughts so I'm running this in sport mode negative four so the lowest sport mode you can possibly do so I'm gonna pop this throttle I'm gonna be very gentle uh, now obviously right now I'm not feeling any difference all right here we go oh I feel a difference already but again I will do another video that is going to be you know more of a breakdown on oh holy cow man Wow um, what a difference I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Let me adjust this camera. Heck man, my throttle was so responsive, it moved my camera. <laughs> Never had that issue before. So, wow. Guys, that is night and day. Honestly, this is how the spider, and this is in sport mode, the, the lowest level. Um, obviously this does not I repeat this does not add horsepower it does not remap anything it simply interferes with the acceleration part of the motorcycle it intercepts it if you will and changes the throw of the throttle cable because it's ride by wire and so through doing that you can you're not you like I said you don't have to move the throttle as far to get the response I'm going to tell you my biggest issue is going to be going back to the stock way if we do a cross-country trip and I'm worried about rain because I'm going to tell you I like this. I like this a lot. Um, now, I will certainly bypass. There's a way to bypass this thing. When we do our, our walkthrough on this thing where we go through all of the features on it, I will do a 0 to 60 
but I can tell you this right now <laughs> there is not going to be any comparison whatsoever um, this is just absolute crazy so like I said I'm in sport mode I'm not in the super sport mode or sport plus we're going to go up to even okay oh my goodness wow I will tell you if this spider would have uh, performed like this out of the box um, I would have never said anything about the acceleration of this machine ever um, this is a completely different vehicle it's completely different how can you simply just change uh, the throttle response and it so dramatically changed the characteristics of a riding machine if you were to, if you would have told me that this would be the experience I would have called you a liar I just would have this is amazing now like I said once you get up into your higher speeds you're not getting any more horsepower so obviously you're gonna you know when you hit 75 on the on the can-am even if you're gunning her she's not accelerating like a rocket she's just not going to it's not designed to so that zero to or that 80 to 100 or 70 to 100 I, I can't see I, I would imagine that when you're trying to pass you've already got it kind of pinned when you do that anyway uh, whether you even realize you've pinned it or not it's pinned um, what I'm gonna do we're gonna we're gonna go to sport mode we're gonna we're up to level four all right I'm right here now I'm not gonna pin it completely back but I could tell you I mean th this is just feeling it uh, like I said I know it doesn't change the torque but man it is insane and when I say it doesn't change the torque it doesn't change where the torque kicks in you're just getting to those RPMs more quickly and so it feels like it here we go so 0 to 60 you're watching it here we are I'm not I don't I don't even know how here we go Wow folks I, I'm telling you that's night and day oh my goodness and you know here's the other thing wow you gonna have to be careful with this thing I'll tell you you will hurt yourself <laughs> one of the things I want you to think about though imagine you're riding at 75 and, and you know what I'm talking about you've got everything done and all of a sudden you want to pull it but you want to pin it right you want to get around that guy now when you simply do it you're pinned I mean, that's all she would have done anyway that where you really feel this is the immediate response it's not the overall response it's the immediacy of it it's it's funny because when you get up into your normal rev range once you get over the actual functional part of it where you move into your normal horsepower normal throttle response mode because you would be look if i'm going at 65 i'm at 3800 rpms or 70 at 35 3600 rpms obviously you can only do so much after that because of the design of the machine but when you start talking the immediacy of this thing the the, the responsiveness of it um it is just you know I, And it's really what's crazy about it it's out of the hole to a certain degree but it's mainly where I'm noticing is it that second third fourth when you're when you desperately need that power to get around that truck or get around that vehicle on that two-lane highway that's where that's where this is going to really excel now I'm not talking about the interstate that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about that immediate I've got to get around that guy that's doing 45 miles an hour uh, I said earlier you know that I may <laughs> remove this thing uh, I, I don't know I, I, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be hard-pressed to remove it now because 
I, I don't I don't know that I want to ride it the way it was the question is man I, I'm, I'm excited now I, I want to figure this thing out <laughs> okay so we're in sport mode plus one I can feel the difference between four and one but it's still I'm gonna tell you with sport at you know just the actual sport mode sitting at zero like I said you can go down negative four and you can go up positive four and sitting between those two spans of positive four and negative four is zero right in the middle of those two it's sport mode in the dead center that is absolutely adequate um, I, I look forward to really playing with that sport plus mode I don't I don't even know how to change the modes on it I didn't even read the manual I just, you know, from looking at it online last week, I just remembered the modes and I'm telling you, I've got to watch my daggum tachometer on this thing now because it, it, I'm telling you, it'll, it'll freaking, I'm not going to tell you, it'll, it ain't going to tear your arms off, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a can am spider, it's still a thousand pound touring machine. But the characteristics, if you come from a motorcycle background, and one of your complaints, as mine was, was the, the out of the hole acceleration. It was never a deal breaker for me. It was just a, if you look back at my thousand mile stuff, I, I talked about that. I also talked about the braking. Um, those were the two things that come in from a two wheeler. The lean, of course, bothered me. We, we've addressed that in another video. But the initial acceleration and the braking were, were issues for me. They, like, again, not deal breakers, just issues. I don't know that the braking is really a problem. Uh, I had a I had to do an emergency brake when I was back in Daytona uh, a few months ago. It, wow, that is insane. That is insane. This is a different machine. I mean, I, I, I've got to slow down. Yeah, you know, I, I used to could I could not get it fast enough to go around this first part of this curve. I had to get on the brakes because I'm used to riding it the way it was. Again, if you get this thing, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> because uh, you can get yourself in a world of pain. You can get yourself in trouble. In a straight line, you'll be fine. You're used to taking twisty roads where you're having to accelerate from one turn to another, and you're used to riding really more the seat of your pants. You're too busy looking at the road to, to be glancing at the dashboard and all that stuff. Um, you, <laughs> you'll be going 10, 15 miles an hour faster than you normally were. So be careful, be careful. Speaking of the braking, I'm going to be doing a video hopefully here in the next uh, couple of weeks. I want to get this, now that this is done, I, I'm going to do a, next week will be on the modes and 0 to 60 comparisons and that sort of thing to see exactly what you're getting yourself into. And then hopefully a week after that, I'll be looking at doing, I want to do a braking comparison. I want to, I want to get on a motorcycle and at 20 miles an hour, I want to stop. I want to get in a car at 20 miles an hour. I want to stop. I want to get on the spider at 20 miles an hour. I want to stop. I want to do it at 20, 40, and 60. And see what sort of braking distances we're actually looking at. And if the spider, where it lies within those that spectrum, is it more in motorcycle braking distances or car braking distances? Because I'm going to tell you, man, some of the new cars with the four-wheel ABS, they're pretty impressive especially the smaller cars well guys i hope you have enjoyed this as much as i have <laughs> but i'm going to tell you you haven't there's no way you've enjoyed this as much as me this pedal commander is something else it's something else so i would really like to thank keith from sling mods for contacting me and sending this to me to try this thing out to see what i thought about it 
to, so that I could forward that to you. No strings attached. He's like, you know, give us your real feelings on it, coach. We want to know. And uh, that's the kind of character that these guys have. And so I want you to uh, certainly, you know, I, I'm never behind the back or in the pocket of saying, you know, I, if somebody sends something to me, I, I, I want to give them credit for it. I don't want you to think that I'm hiding stuff because I'm not. So Keith from Sling Mods, man, thank you for sending this to me and thank you for allowing me the opportunity, the privilege of trying this out, sharing it with my viewers. And thank you for, uh, well, obviously, let me tell you, he's confident in it or he would have never sent it to me. Keith is a good man. We've talked about family. We've talked about things. And he wanted my honest opinion and was not afraid to put it out there and say, hey, coach, if it needs to be hammered, hammer it, hammer it. And if it needs to be uh, lifted up, lift it up. Well, I'm going to tell you, I lift it up. This thing is amazing. And I, like I said, I haven't even hit the other modes yet. But uh, next week, be sure and tune in as we go through everything on this thing. Because uh, next Saturday, we'll be, we'll be talking about all that. Um, super duper, 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 duper cool. I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. This thing is crazy cool. All right, friends. I'm, oh, my goodness. That, that's where it gets you is in those turns. So until next time, <laughs> I got to go around the block. <laughs> All right, let me slow down. I've got neighbors walking their dogs and walking their kids and dogs and good folks, good people. All right. Hi. Hi. Right. Remember, always be a good neighbor. Don't be like a good neighbor. Be a good neighbor. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm. You're a good neighbor. All right. Well, I'm going to round this puppy back to the house. Oh, that sun's bright. But I want you to do me a favor. Between now and next week, I want you to go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, <laughs> if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Holy cow, this thing is a monster. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>